YouTubers, Mike Martin's here. Mike Martin's channel, bringing you a really hot, 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 hot housing, 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 housing video that is out right now and it's burning up on the social media networks. And it was sent to me about an hour ago. So the uh, the article's two hours old. This is super, super, super hot. Budget 2018, foreign buyers tax increasing and new speculation tax coming this year. So remember guys, the new NDP, NDP government was put into place to kind of fix this problem or solve this problem because I think they want to get voted in the next election. Let's see what the article holds. It's got 3,778 views or say shares by Urbanized, Daily Hive Dished. So is a little landscape there of Vancouver, the urban asphalt concrete jungle. As part of Budget 2018, which is also the BC NDP Provincial Government's first BC Minister of Finance, Carol James, announced that the BC taxation charges on residential properties, which she said are meant to further address the housing crisis in BC. The first change takes effect almost immediately tomorrow, Wednesday, February 21st. In fact, the provincial government will be raising the existing foreign buyers tax, FBT, from 15 15 to 20 percent FBT implemented by the previous provincial government is currently only in effect in Metro Vancouver. However, in addition, the increasing the tax by 5 percent, the FTB will also be expanded to BC other major ur urban areas, namely in the Fraser Valley, Greater Victoria, Nanaimo and Central Okanagan region, as well to target the upscale uh, real estate market, the regular property transfer tax for residential properties valued over $3 million will go up from 3 to 5%. Increasing the tax should help the debtor, those speculating in BC's housing markets, said James during the, 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 today's budget speech. Extending in, it out to other communities, ensuring that we don't simply push the speculation into neighboring communities. Well, it's happened. There's so many people here in Merritt picking up uh, property. It's crazy. You have your your property up for a week. It's sold within days. You have it le less than a week. So, in addition to the FTB uh, increase, the provincial government announced that it will be enacting a new annual speculation ST on resident properties targeting foreign and domestic homeowners, including those who leave their properties vacant. So let's go up to here. The ST will will directly will be directly collected by the provincial government and begins during 2018 tax year with the with the rates starting at five dollars to one thousand dollars of assessed value. So it goes into a lot of different uh, discussion here. What's the other part? Right here. James said that the uh, James said new revenues generated by these tax changes will fund the provincial government ambitious 6.5 billion dollar afford affordable housing plan. During the 2019 2020 19, uh, 2020 physical year, forecasts show that ST will be at 200 million dollar increases and expansions to the foreign buyers tax and property ta uh, transfer tax will be an additional 40 million increases and the school tax and residential properties will add an 81 million on the PST on short term uh, rentals with an additional 16 million. Those uh, changes to the tax policy, a residential real estate, part of the overreaching 30-point housing plan supplement provincial government's housing affordability strategy to moving forward with a multi-billion dollar plan to build 114,000 units of affordable housing over the next decade to come. So that's the article there. There it is right there if you guys want to read it. And don't, everyone's like, whoa, oh my God, 20%. Look at this. I read this last year. I read this article Oh, it's been re redone. Oh, yeah, that is last year. Sorry. Paris targets vacant second homes with 60% tax, uh, vacancy tax. So I talked about this a year ago on my channel. Uh, follow me if you want to know what's going on. You know, I, from time to time, find a good video, uh, a good, a good article to share with you guys. Don't forget to chart, to, uh, join me Wednesday nights for Trends in the Housing Market. I really appreciate you guys, uh, subscribing and watching my stuff. I know I'm super amateur, but you know what? I've been talking about this for years now. So, um, I think, it's coming to fruition. I just hope people waiting on the sidelines uh, are happy uh, that, that didn't buy into this Ponzi scheme. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below.